guys, I just wanted to do this like, if possible, a one take wonder. I've never tried to do that before, but there's a first for everything. I had something interesting happen. Um, and hopefully, by making this, I can prevent it from happening to one of you guys. This video is going to be super different because there's going to be little to no ed editing and it's just, it's just going to be different. But it's a little story. I'm making a skitter video right now. Um, Timberjack 380, biggest video on my channel. Um, pretty much did it again, except that it was worse. <laughs> so you guys are going to have to wait for that. But in between that, that's editing right now. I don't want to edit a new project. So that's why I'm trying not to have to edit this one. Look at that sunset. Yeah, I wanted to do this video. There you go. Well, I still had a little bit of light, but anyways, I'm looking at this thing right here. Holy shit. Dumbass. And I don't want to go like talking around in public, so I'll probably just post a picture. But anyways. What happened was, um, back like two months ago, I had this, this, this guy from a company in Goose Bay here in Lab City. I'm gonna jump in the 450 now. Get you guys a wide shot of this. Looking good as always. Yeah. So I talked to someone like two months ago. About shipping this thing. About shipping this container here. Uh, from Goose Bay, Labrador, up to Labrador City. And I'm not even going to bother you showing the conversation. For one, that'll introduce some editing into this, but two, because there's like nothing there, and that's the problem. There is nothing there in the conversation. I didn't ask him a single question about this shipping container, and they knew it. They knew it. They knew they had me. Um, nothing against them. If I was running a business, I might do this too. It's kind of a good way to get on my bad customer list, but I mean, I mean, who cares? It's a laugh. Know it for next time. But uh, especially keep my mouth shut about this because I'm hoping they can be repeat customers and life goes on. I didn't ask a single question about this shipping container. And that was it. Even they sent me a purchase order. One sea can. That's all. That's all they said. They wanted a sea can shipped. There's nothing describing the sea can, not even what color it is, size, nothing. One sea can. So, for some reason, I don't know if I wasn't expecting to be able to do it, or why I can't think of a reason. I just didn't ask any questions. So, so like, a month or two goes by, and for some reason, in my mind, I had myself convinced that this was a 20-foot empty shipping container that I was coming up. That's kind of what I quoted for, without asking any questions. Never quote without asking questions. You need some sort of specifics on what you're taking. But anyways, I show up, and here is this monster. Hang on, I gotta go back. Yeah, 20-foot sea can, that's what I thought it was. So, I had a loader to pick, pick up south coast of labrador so labrador is kind of in three parts you got the south coast you got goose bay and then you got lab city it goes from east to west south coast or i guess for you guys south coast goose bay lab city so i had a 40 foot shipping container that i was taking to the south coast so goose bay to the south coast then i had a loader a small loader to pick up from the south coast going all the way to lab city i was planning on picking up the shipping container here in Goose Bay, and taking it with the loader to Lab City, thinking it was a 20-foot shipping container. I get to Goose Bay, and I'm like, hold on a second. I don't actually know if this is a 20-foot shipping container. I know nothing about this thing. So I send them a text message that said, it's a 40-foot shipping container, isn't it? 
and uh, yeah, sure enough, of course it is. Of course it is a 40 foot shipping container. And uh, so anyway, so I go to Lab City now just with that. I didn't quote enough to go with that, like, without anything else. That was supposed to be a partial. But now, so now I'm spending another $200 in fuel to drive back here to Goose Bay to pick up the shipping container. And, okay, that's where we pick back up. So I've already lost because now I'm just running back and forth with these one singular things. So now I get here. And I go to the address they gave me to drop off the trailer so that they can load it the next day. And I show up and I see this. Um, holy shit. This was not what I was expecting. So yeah, this thing ended up being huge. Um, you know, fully finished unit. I was expecting, so what I was expecting, you know, 20 foot empty shipping container. Weighs about 5,000 pounds. Um, 40 foot, no big deal, empty, you know, nothing in it, 8,000 pounds, who cares, burns a bit more fuel, uh, can't fit anything else on it, but I mean, that's it, I show up and there's this fully finished unit with, like, doors and insulation and flooring and walls, shelving, tables, the works, and I can't say anything because... Not by definition, but by definition of most people, it's still just a shipping container. Shit. And I can't say anything. It's still a sea can. I mean, it's fundamentally still a sea can. Now, if you go to the Maersk line or any shipping company and say, will you ship this overseas? No, they're not going to do it. This sea can will never see the sea again. Um, it's no longer, to me, in my definition, it's no longer a sea can. But, according to most, yes, that is still a sea can. Corrugated sides, the chassis is still there, whatever. And so, I'm kind of caught there because, well, I, I charged, like, F all. I charged nothing, basically. And now it's this, instead of being an 8,000 pound unit, it's a 15,000 pound unit. And I know from experience, because these things are heavy even just with insulation in them. And uh, and then, yeah, not only that, but when I show up, they're also putting shit in the shipping container. And it's like computer parts, like it's not even light, like two pallets of, he like heavy pallets. And then some, uh, like three or four other pallets of lighter stuff, but I mean, still five, 600 pounds each. So now I'm up to like 17, 18,000 pounds with a giant, you know, container with doors flopping open and all this and it's just really really screwing me but I can't say anything because I agreed to ship a sea can fundamentally that's still what it is doesn't we didn't agree uh, it was empty we didn't agree that it was unfinished uninsulated we didn't agree on a weight of what it, approximately it was going to weigh we didn't agree on anything other than it was a sea can Going to labs, they could have found a 53-foot sea can and shipped it, and I still couldn't have sent anything. So, yeah, they, have like, piled it up. They loaded it wrong because they weren't going to tell me. I asked them how much it's going to weigh, like, like what, what is this going to weigh? They tell me 8,000 pounds. That's what it would weigh empty without any insulating in it. They tell me 8,000 pounds, and I know that's just a flat-out lie. He looks me in the eye and says 8,000 pounds. That's a lie, straight up. But I can't say anything, because we didn't talk about weight. And anyway, so I let them finish loading it. it. Like It is what it is. And they close it up. And it doesn't close. The door doesn't fucking close. I'm going to have to like put a strap on that or something. There's two of them. Neither one of them close. And, uh, and yeah, and, and that's it. And now I try to lift up the front of the trailer with the jacks. It won't do it. It won't pick it up. And that tells me that that is heavy. Only the heaviest things I've taken, the jacks on the hydraulic jacks on the trailer can't lift. So I know I'm looking at at least 16, 17,000 pounds here. And the tire trail, the, the, the trailer tires are like squatting and the truck is just maxed out on squat. It's, it's not good. If I knew what it was, I would have had them load it back further. But, uh, but yeah, all that, Last night, I actually drove 60 kilometers and then realized that I wasn't going to have enough fuel. I had extra fuel taken with me, but 
This is probably going to be the most fuel I've ever burned in a single trip. Because this is probably the heaviest, most fuel-consuming thing I've ever taken. It's a parachute, corrugated sides, parachute. The weight of it also going uphill. Like, it's going to be rough. And I could only go like 75, 80 kilometers an hour because of the wind resistance and the hills. And I actually got 60 kilometers out, turned around, and came back here. I'm like, okay, no. And just to throw it in there, that loader I took up, I was all supposed to take back. So I was going to take everything up, wait a day for it to get fixed. It had to be fixed. He said, you know, take a day or so to fix, maybe two, and then come back. No, that loader won't be fixed for like a week or two now. So that's essentially canceled. So now I'm going up for nothing and going to be waiting for a load. But I have a place to stay here in Goose Bay. So I stayed and here I am literally turned around and came back. I drove 120 kilometers with this for nothing. I didn't think of it that way. That's pretty bad. Damn. But, but I mean, yeah, it was either that or be stuck. I'm pretty sure this is overweight, so I wouldn't have been able to uh, go to Lab City until probably around now, today. So I would have been waiting all day at uh, the, the Churchill Falls gas station, which is in between Goose Bay and Lab City. It's just shitty situation. So now I've got some more stuff to take. I've got the, the load kind of rearranged. Um, and I'll be heading out with this tomorrow. Gonna try and get these two videos done. But yeah, yeah, so lesson is, and I, I know this myself. Like, I'm not trying to be a dumbass here. I know this myself because I've done this before. I've been through this before. I've, like, I've hauled 20 of these shipping containers. For some reason, this one time, I didn't ask any questions about it, and I don't know why. So, yeah. Lessons learned. Ask at least one question. Get some idea. Get some agreement on what specifically it is you're taking. I might not have even been able to take this for all I know. They could have loaded it with 20,000 pounds. I would have showed up and like, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I can't do it. That stuff's not acceptable. So always ask at least one or two questions. Like get a good depiction of what it is you're taking and get something in writing where you know, you know what it is. Like there's some specifics there. So, uh, so yeah, don't be like me. Don't be like me. Anyways, this is going to be a new segment of video, new style. Um, not going to do too much stuff with no editing, but I definitely want to get more videos up. So I'm going to try and dumb it down a bit because, uh, you know, I'm pretty busy. I don't always have time to be editing like crazy, but going to be dumbing it down a little bit to try and get more out. Had to tell this story, kind of a fun story. It's like too good to keep to myself. Not really good enough to film like the whole thing. I mean, there wasn't any conversations to be had. So yeah, um, a lot. I have a lot of people wondering about paddle shifters. These things, you can see it, all right? Shifts the truck. Um, I will be doing them. I'll let you know when I'm doing another order. I'm like all over the place right now. I need to be somewhere with the printer for a day or two, a 3D printer, because that's how I make them. Um, and then I need to be able to ship them. So, I mean, it takes three days, and I haven't been in one place for three days, not with the printer. So, we'll be doing those. Um, just hang tight and keep watching my videos, because I will announce that I'm uh, doing another production of them in a video in the future. Um, yeah, look forward to the skitter video. I mean, that's a throwback. It's going to be pretty cool. It's pretty much what most of my subscribers came from and, uh, and what you're here to see. So, I'm really looking forward to getting that up. And that should do it. I'm going to haul this thing tomorrow. Might film it. Probably won't. But, uh, I mean, it, nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to go slowly, slowly as hell to Labrador City and burn a whole lot of fuel. Jesus, a lot of fuel. Uh, fuel's $1.70. Right now it's $5.2 a gallon here um, for your state's crowd. That's the uh, equivalent. Pretty nuts. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient between uploads. And uh, and I can't wait to see you in the skitter video. Should be a good one. Guys, that's it for me. You guys, have a good day. 15 minutes, that's not too bad.
Who wants to see the 450 one more time? Love this truck. King Ranch, Olivia Ford.